Hey, our friends, here are going to be drawing the drum set. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. Drum sets are really cool and super loud. Yeah. We, you need your marker or something to draw with. You can use a pencil if you want. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah. All right. You ready to start? Yes. <laughs> Let's draw our first drum right in the middle of our paper. And we're going to draw a big circle. This is for our bass drum. Draw it about this bit. Well, that's really big. Yes. There you go. <laughs> I like it. Good job. I love that our circles aren't perfect. That's okay, right? Yeah. The most important thing is? Have fun. Yeah, and to practice. Practice. I love practicing circles. It's actually one of my favorite things to do. The other thing you can do is get a template, maybe something that's a circle, like our sharpener over there. Yeah, and that's you could, kind of small. it's smaller, but you could trace around a circle or a template like that to get a perfect circle. Now let's draw our other drums. Now we have two more drums on top. I think they're called toms. We're going to draw it behind the bass drum. So let's start here and we're going to draw a line that comes out to the left. And we're going to also, well, let's draw them both. And we'll draw our other one on this side. So we're going to draw our mid tom, tom, and our high tom. I think that's what they're called. <laughs> All right, now, now let's draw two lines coming up from the middle. So we're going to draw another one over here. And one is bigger than the other one, but um, that's okay if we kind of make them the same. So now let's draw the top. We'll come over and then connect down. And let's do the same thing over here too. This one actually looks a little bit bigger. Awesome. Now we could draw this stand that comes up in the middle. So we'll draw two more lines that are shorter. And then we can draw two lines to connect at the top. Let's also add more details to our drums. Let's draw a line on the top and also on the bottom. We could do that on each of the drums. Now let's draw another tom over here. I think this one's called a floor tom. We're going to draw it kind of big. We're going to start here. We can come out from that top drum and then we'll come down and we're going to come a little closer to the floor and then we'll connect into our big bass drum. We could also add an extra line right here so it's not the, as Super big. long. Yeah, super long. <laughs> Let's also add another drum over here. And this one I think is called the snare drum. So we'll come out from the other side, just like we did on the floor tom. And then we'll come down. And this one is not as tall. And then we'll come back in. We've got all these rectangle shapes. We're going to add another small line right here. So that's not as long either. Now let's add those details, just like we did on these upper drums. We're going to draw a line on the top, also on the bottom. And we can do the same thing over here on this side. What's our drum set missing? Symbols. Yeah, those are the big things that you go. And it goes <laughs> yeah, let's draw these three dimensional. We're going to draw oval shapes. So they're really circles, but because they're tipped, we're going to draw squished circles or ovals. <laughs> we're going to draw an oval over here on the left. And I'm also going to tip a little diagonal too. Let's draw another symbol on the right side. We're going to do the same oval shape. And I'm going to tip this going the other direction. Now we also need a one more that's over here, but this one's I think called a hi-hat. We're going to draw another oval shape. Or actually, let's just draw a straight line. We'll make it a little easier. So we're going to draw a straight line. And then we're going to draw a curve that comes up in the middle and then connects back down on the other side. And then we can do the same thing on the bottom. We'll come down. Kind of looks like a UFO when we're all done with it. All right, now our symbols are just floating. So let's add stands that hold them up. We'll start here in the middle. And we're going to draw a line that comes down. Then we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes out further. And then let's draw the big stand that comes down from that diagonal line past the drum. Yeah, and then we can draw the legs on the stand. We'll draw two lines that come out further on each side. 
Let's add another detail to the stand. We'll draw a short line down from the middle, and then we're gonna draw connecting braces that come up to the sides. Uh, let's also give, draw a little oval and color it in on the bottom of each of the feet or the legs of cool. the stand. Let's do that again over here on the side. We'll draw a line down, and we could also draw a diagonal line coming out to the side. Sometimes the stands look different, but we'll just keep it simple and draw the same. Let's draw another line that comes all the way down past our drums. Now I came down further, so maybe we start up here for the legs on the stand. And then we can draw those two braces. And then let's draw the feet on our stand. If we ever go too fast or you need extra time, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah. All right, now let's draw a few more stands. Let's draw one for the hi-hats. We'll draw a line coming out of the top. Then we'll draw a line coming out of the bottom. And I'm going to stop a little short than this stand over here. And we're just going to overlap the legs on top of the other stand. Let's do that same thing. We'll draw a short line down and then two shorter diagonal lines connecting to the legs. We can also add the feet. We did it, but let's add a few more stands for each of these drums too. So I'm gonna draw another line that comes down from, from this drum. You can draw the legs that come out on each side. Oh, let's draw that shorter line and then the two diagonal lines. We are going faster on this part because we're just repeating the same steps. Uh, maybe this one over here has different legs. I'm gonna draw a leg that comes out like this and then a foot and maybe one right in the middle and another foot. Ooh, we could draw little legs coming out for the bass drum too and then feet on that too. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our drum set. It looks really cool, except... We still need a color. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you could pause the video if you want to match your same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Jack, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our drum set. It looks really cool. Yeah, it does. I especially like it all colored in. I hope our friends are gonna take time to color their drawings also. We even added a cool design to our bass drum. Maybe that's the name of our band, our cool band named <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you could even add the drummer in the background. Uh -huh, that would be really cool. You could even add the stage and maybe even some other members of the band especially if you had a bigger piece of paper. <laughs> yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your drum set. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you have fun changing and adding more things to your drawing. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.